This is Gasparilla. The annual mock pirate invasion of Tampa Bay. It has become tradition to throw plastic beads from boats to people on shore. As you can imagine, most miss their intended targets and sink down, down, down to meet the layers of beads from previous years at the bottom of the channel. This is the result. Blankets of beads leaching toxins into the water. As if it weren't bad enough that there are piles of plastic on the sea floor, these beads are made in China with no regulations and have been shown to contain high levels of toxic and heavy metals such as lead, cadmium, and arsenic. Part of the problem is the media's portrayal of the Gasparilla invasion. It is never mentioned that the beads are toxic and detrimental to the environment. Nothing even as simple as don't litter while partying. But instead, the same thing is repeated yearly about the pirates trying to steal the key to the city from the mayor. This is a local issue, but part of the growing global plastic pollution problem. So I, along with my brother, founded an organization we call Green Gasparilla that is dedicated to raising awareness about the celebration's detrimental effects on the environment. We started cleaning up the discarded beads by fishing for them. We pulled up lots of beads with our treble hooks. We then started a website and social media to educate the public about the dangers that Gasparilla beads have on the environment. Then, in January of 2016, we were approached by a local news station to do a story about our initiative. This was a pivotal moment for us because we got the message out to many more people. Okay, so today you were out fishing for beads. Yes. Yeah. What is that? So, um, all the Gasparilla beads from the boat parade, about, uh, or at least 50% of them end up in the water. Most people miss. And all of these end up in the, the channel around here. And what we do is we take a special contraption on our fishing rod and try and catch the beads from the bottom of the channel. It was about that time that we came up with the idea to take our cleanup efforts to the next level. We reached out to the pro-environment diver groups to see how they could help us clean up the beads. Before long, we had over 40 divers and other volunteers agree to help us launch our first diver cleanup event. It was a great success. We are currently planning our next cleanup event and are excited about reaching out to local legislators and law enforcement to discuss ways in which our community can continue to celebrate the Gasparilla Boat Parade in more eco-friendly and sustainable ways. We hope to convince these community leaders that celebrating Gasparilla in an environmentally friendly way is the best for our community, our environment, and for our place as a forward-thinking city with a bright and prosperous future.